This video is a quick walkthrough of creating a data collector to pull data from an AWS S3 bucket with Cribble Logstream. Starting at the home page, I'm going to navigate to one of my worker groups, in my case logs, and then pull down the data menu and select collectors. This gets me to the manage collectors page where I'm going to click add new. Since I'm going to be using this to get my firewall data that I've archived using an S3 destination, I'm going to name the collector pan firewall data and select S3 from the collector type field. If I were pulling the data from a bucket already configured on this system as a destination, I could hit this button and select that destination to have all the values pre-filled. But I'm gonna actually instead put in a bucket name. My bucket is in the Oregon US West 2 AWS region. Now I enter my path. This is functionally equivalent to the partitioning expression I use to write the data, but each of these tokens will get read as fields, which will allow me to filter data based on those tokens when I'm running collection jobs in the future. I'm using an AWS IAM role in my environment that has the S3 read capability, but if you use IAM keys, you'd put them here. Since I'm going to ingest data that's been previously written by Cribble Logstream, I'm going to use the Cribble Event Breaker, which works for splitting newline delimited JSON data. I can also add metadata fields, which can be useful in processing the data down the line, but in this case, I'm not going to. And I can determine how the data flows. By default, it'll get fed to my routes, but I can actually select a conditioning pipeline if I want to do some work before it goes to the routes, or even just send it to a specific pipeline and output. I'm going to take the default. Once I've saved the collector config, I can click on the Run button to preview the data. My firewall events are coming in with any enrichment or cleansing that was done prior to writing them to archive. Now, if we show internal fields, you'll see a couple additional fields. The input ID field, in this case, will always start with the word collection when the data is being collected from a data collector. So it allows you to do routings based on that. For example, you could have a route that uh, takes data that is pan firewall data, but comes from a collector and that goes one way, where data that's pan firewall source type, but not from a collector would go another way. Now at this point, we validated that the collector is working and that the data is showing up correctly. As always, in a distributed environment, you'd wanna commit and deploy these changes at this point, but then you're done. Thanks for watching.